So I want to talk a little bit about Dave Palumbo, a.k.a. the father of Palumboism, a.k.a. muscle gut, a.k.a. pregnant bodybuilders on a daily basis. So this first photo here, I want to show some flattering photos, or at least flattering in terms of bodybuilding, um, photos of Dave Palumbo. Um, the guy was an absolute freak. I mean, look at these pictures, man. He's vascular. Um, he's huge. He, for the time, he was absolutely huge. He was a freak. Um, I believe he was well over 300 pounds in the off season. I believe he competed in the high 270s, if not 280. I mean, some of these photos, man, he's just massive muscle all over the place. Um, and just absolutely shredded. I mean, this is a guy who obviously knew uh, what he was doing. So I'm going to show a few of these flattering photos of him where he obviously looks good. And then I'm going to show where he starts to go downhill a little bit. So, you know, just for some context, he's five foot seven, contest weight 270. I think he retired around 235. Um, so he was huge for his height. Um, if you don't know, he's the founder of RX Muscle and the owner of Species Nutrition. Um, he never turned pro. He was always an MPC competitor. Um, let's see. I'm looking at uh, his Wikipedia page here. Look, I mean, look at the guy. Look at his legs, dude. His legs are absolutely just freaky. Um, he won the Junior Nationals in the heavyweight in 1995. He competed in the USA's, got 7th, 7th again the next year. Competed at Nationals, got 4th. Competed at the USA's the next year, got 6th. Uh, got 5th at Nationals the next year. Uh, got 6th at the North Americans. 8th uh, at the Nationals, ninth at the USA's. 1st place super heavyweight at the MPC Metropolitan. Uh, fourth place super heavyweight at the USA's, eighth place super heavyweight at the Nationals, seventh place uh, super heavyweight, fifth place uh, North Americans, third place super heavyweight at the USA's, second place super heavyweight at the Nationals, second place at the USA's, sixth place at the Nationals. So this guy is a consistent competitor. He competed a fuck ton of times. Um, he did a whole bunch of shows. Um, he did some pretty good placings and... Uh, you know, he did pretty well. I mean, he was a decent bodybuilder. He was consistent. He competed a lot. He was huge. He was shredded. All right, so here's some photos where he's starting to go downhill a little bit. Um, the gut is becoming a little bit more apparent. Um, it's kind of becoming a little bit of a... It's starting to peak out a little bit. You can kind of see um, it's just starting to kind of hit its uh, hit its stride. <laughs> um, I'm sure he's not... Dave Palumbo seems like a guy who's, you know, I'm sure he's pretty self-conscious about this. I'm pretty, he's aware of the fact that Palumboism exists. He's aware of the fact that that's what it's called. He seems like the type of dude that would be pretty self-conscious of this. So I wanted to kind of make a video with some flattering photos of him too. I mean, look at this photo of him next to this chick. I mean, his gut is, you can tell it's starting to get out of control. I mean, even in the flattering photos of him, he was kind of trying to hide it. You could tell, um, but obviously his midsection was always kind of big and it starts to get bigger um, and worse uh, throughout these photos here. Um, so here's a photo where it's definitely starting to get evident that the Palumboism is setting in um, pretty badly. Um, this, is, this is kind of the classic symptoms of Palumboism where the limbs are starting to shrink um, and the midsection is starting to look bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, you can definitely tell um, that the Palumboism is starting. Even his massive legs are starting to look smaller. And that's just the classic signs of Palumboism starting to set in, uh, as we see it with today's bodybuilders, as they get bigger and bigger. Um, and then they get older and older. The Palumboism gets worse and worse. And it's especially with the guys that are over 300 pounds in the off season. The, the guts start to get bigger. Their limbs start to look smaller in proportion. And obviously, here's the classic photo of the father of Palumboism looking just absolutely weird, like an alien, like a freak, like he's pregnant. It's just the craziest picture I've seen of a bodybuilder. He just looks so weird here. Um, so un just unnatural um so for those of you that didn't know 
I mean, this is where Palumboism came from. Dave Palumbo, he was really the first uh, instance of this Palumboism being evident in, in a bodybuilder. Here he is even relaxed. His gut just looks crazy. Um, he was really the first known case of this, and he was really one of the first freaks uh, besides Dorian Yates and Ronnie Coleman. I mean, in the early 90s, to be 300 plus pounds in the off season was huge for a bodybuilder and to compete at 275 for five foot seven bodybuilder that's a freak in the 90s i mean that's he was a freak and he never turned pro i mean the I, the guy just doesn't get enough respect i mean i listen to his radio show all the time um i don't i don't personally take his products i think they're a little bit overpriced um, but the dude has done a lot for the sport of bodybuilding. The dude, uh, his company, RX Muscle, I mean, they provide contest coverage of even the smallest little NPC shows. So he's doing everything he can to try to get bodybuilding out there and promote it and, and to, uh, to give back to the sport that really gave him nothing. I mean, I'm sure um, it's responsible for most of his quote-unquote fame and notoriety, um, but really he never turned pro. He never made money as a professional bodybuilder, and if anything, he's kind of a laughing stock of the bodybuilding world um, because of this whole Palumboism thing that he that he seems to have started. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give him a little bit of a tribute video and show for the record. I mean, this guy has started two companies. He achieved a level of muscularity that that in the '90s was just unheard of. Um, you know, 270 pounds on stage. I mean, that's a freak even by today's standards. Um, so I just wanted to give him a little bit of a tribute video because he's he. I think he's really underappreciated and underrespected. But this is the father of Palumboism. <laughs> 